One of the most successful phone scams these days operates out of a small South Georgia town where the crooks get their food and shelter for free and have nothing but time on their hands. Yeah, they're inmates at Autry State Prison. And as Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis saw firsthand, the scam is they're showing very small signs of slowing down. No right. signs at all, in no, fact. Sine. In fact, uh, Prison authorities have tried everything, conducting raids at this medium security prison on a regular basis, transferring the ringleaders to other facilities, arresting civilians who help with the scam on the outside, and yet they cannot wipe it out because it works. Mitchell County flashed bright blue on this night. A team, two, two, one, oh. Let's go. Four, two. Nearly 200 tax squad members eager to make a statement. We rock, we rock this place. Right. They're still in charge. <laughs> Usually these raids have happened in the morning, like around 7 a.m. They decided to do this one at night to so maintain the element of surprise. So they're going to hit all 19 housing units and search all 1,676 inmates. By the time they hit unit E2, someone had left a pile of torn papers on the floor. Turns out it's the very reason investigators have come to Autry. So this is the script that they use to scam people? Yes, and when they saw us coming in, what they did was try to shred it on us. But you, you can even see when they talk about it, they having a warrant issued for them today. A warrant for your arrest unless you pay up now because you either miss jury duty or owe back taxes. Investigators say inmates at Autry have been making those fake calls for years. Martin Doss got one. Did you really think you were going to go to jail if you didn't send the money? I was half convinced. The Macon contractor says he thought about hanging up, but a part of him worried he might have overlooked a notice from the government. And the whole time, you know, you're wrestling in your mind, this has to be a scam. But I'm so, you know, like I said, it's so convincing. That this screw comes off this toilet really easily. But the Autry scam will not work without one of these. How many you got? Uh, just one. Just one. It was behind the toilet. Cell phones. On this night, tactical units confiscated 28 cell phones. I even spotted one on the day room floor when authorities surprised inmates in the E1 dorm. Because what you can do with a smartphone is access the internet. And the next thing you do is get using the internet, research the area of the victims you intend to target. Remember that shredded script authorities found? They carefully pieced it back together. It's like a giant puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Here it is. The script uses the misspelled names of a real DeKalb judge, Sean LaGrua, and a real Fulton clerk of court, Tina Robinson. And with an app on their phone, the crooks can spoof their number to make it look as if it's coming from any police department. They target individuals and utilize the sheriff's name, maybe his deputies, uh, his court officials, so the people feel that it's a legitimate call. They recognize these names, they recognize the callback numbers they're given. It scares people into going to get the money. Investigator Jack Cleveland says right now, Autry inmates are using a local sergeant's name to threaten Bibb County residents into paying up. He showed us some of the prepaid cards those victims bought to transfer the money. At least $17,000 worth so far. This really ticks me off that these criminals are in prison, not just in jail, but in prison serving lengthy sentences and still committing crimes and making serious money. Add Martin Doss's 200 bucks to the pile. You're actually talking to an inmate at Autry State Prison. Well, honestly, you know, it makes me feel like an idiot. Why Autry? That's when we haven't figured out yet. That information is traveling from one inmate to the other, and they're training each other how to do this. So this could be a list of all their victims right here. It could be, yes, sir. 109. On a rare nighttime raid that produced at least 50 homemade weapons, the most useful evidence could wind up being some torn scraps of paper dumped in the trash, hoping no one would notice a roadmap to easy money. They sit in these cells 24 hours a day and come up with a new scheme to run every day. Well, once the inmates land a victim, they'll pass around that person's phone number to be used for other scams. And, you know, Martin Doss, the gentleman we interviewed in our story there, the contractor, mm -hmm. he says that after he gave him $200, he said his phone continued to ring for months. In fact, it just stopped ringing a month or so ago, and he gave the money in 2014. Unbelievable, but this scam can't work, it seems, without these smuggled cell phones. Right, they can't use the pay phones to pull the scam off. Uh, yeah, it has to be a smuggled cell phone, and we've done many stories about how these uh, cell phones get into prisons. 
Most of the time, the guards uh, smuggle them in and pay, get paid as much as $1,000 for these phones. The feds have tried to crack down. They've arrested so many guards, so many other inmates and, and friends who've also smuggled in the phones, and they continue to show up. In fact, at Autry, just last month, they raided, found a bunch of phones. Three weeks later, we were there with them. They found 28 more phones. So it just keeps proliferating over and over, and probably all across the country, right? Because everybody's making money in this, Tom. The guards the inmates. They're all part of it. Unfortunately, a very small percentage, luckily, of the guards are, yeah. but there's enough money to go around to keep it flowing. Yeah. All right. Bad deal. All right. Thank you so much, Randy. Thanks, okay. Appreciate it.